fought confidently. In the middle. <laughs> you, you, you scared it! So in order to try and escape the, the city and the tourists again, we've come out to the Bukit Timar Nature Reserve to try and find some animals. And I have a feeling that we might have been successful. There's supposed to be monkeys here and lizards and snakes, all kinds of birds of paradise. So see what we can find. And hopefully we don't get eaten by monkeys. She won't go past the monkeys. I had made eye contact with one, I glanced, I glanced, I looked at one, I glanced. All right, they're coming. <laughs> We're gonna have to go. Walk confidently. In the middle. <laughs> you, you, you scared it! I looked up and there was just a monkey <laughs> looking at me and I was like, nope. <laughs> you just scared him now. <sighs> Look, they're chill. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my god. That was so scary. It's so nice to just like get out and be in nature and see all the animals. I've never seen monkeys before. So that was, a, it was a little terrifying at first, but they seem really chill. So we've just come to this lookout and the water is so clear and blue. And there's a little terrapin down there, um, a turtle. And he keeps like coming over to us and like ducking his head up, like looking straight at us. Just asking for food, he's so cute. He's just swimming, I'd give anything jump in to just jump in how was that how was your walking past monkeys well, it's good because they're all most of them are cops We saw lots of animals, we saw what we needed to see, but we are getting hungry now. So we're gonna head back into the city and finally get some food at Tiong Baru Market. So, come along. As you saw when we got on the train, it was sunny, beautiful, hot, sunny day. Um, but right on time, as every day during the rainy season, the thunderstorm has arrived. So now we're going to have to battle this on the way to the market, but luckily it is only one, one block that way, so... It's really heavy! It's getting, it's getting more intense by the second. And it's thundering! You know what I love about this? Is when, the, when this happens every day, everybody just takes a little break from life and just all, all stands for 10 minutes, 20 minutes and waits for the rain to go past and they'll just sit and watch the thunderstorm. And I kind of love that, you know? <laughs> I duck like a baby. Like a baby. I'm glad I'm not walking around with an umbrella. We're just standing under a big metal thing, that's all. Somebody feed Phil and Anthony Bourdain went up here. I'm feeling... So if anyone knows somebody for you, Phil, could you just send him this video, please? Thanks. We don't even know his name. Can we just call him somebody for you? Oh, everything's closed. Great. Apparently this stuff is the, um... oh, I didn't even say what it was. This is Nasi Lamak. Another national dish of this place. Malaysian, I think. But apparently a 
According to somebody feed Phil himself. This is the star, whatever this stuff is. Oh my god, it's just chili paste. Cucumber. Cucumber. Let's attack it now. Let's get crazy with it. It's really yummy, the rice is like super fragrant, it just tastes like coconut. It's also blue, which just makes it even more exciting. But uh, yeah, they've got it with fried tofu and whatever the hell that is. Um, can't really go wrong in Singapore, everything, everything you eat is good. And this was only like four pounds, so. Yes. The trouble is when you come to these places around three o'clock, everything is closed. So Dana's looking for something to eat, but good luck. When everything here is pig organ soup, she's gonna have a hard time. You really have to be used to Asian flavors to, to be able to eat the street food here. Like even this, this sambal has got fish sauce in it. Which is a little bit of an off-putting taste if you're not used to it. I'm not sure I am. Well, she hasn't come back yet, so that's a good sign. But I think I'm done with my nasty lemak. I should probably talk, stop talking to myself because people are going to think I'm mental. What did she get? What did she get? What is this? Rice, and then I wanted just vegetables. And then the vegetables were sitting in some type of meat sauce. And then he was like, you get three vegetables. Okay, three vegetables. So he gave me beans, cabbage, and an egg. That's a, that's a vegetable. So this place is like really big. And I've done like four laps. And there's we're sitting next to the one stand, the one stall that has just fried rice. And I'm just craving fried rice. And I went up to her and she went, no, not yet. Closed till five. It's 3.45. One stool that has fried rice, which is fun. When you come to these markets, it's tricky. Singapore is an easy place to eat because you got Starbucks, McDonald's, restaurants. You'll be fine. But these places, it's very um, yeah, they've got the special specialities. So it's like it's it's duck, it's seafood, and I'm someone that doesn't really eat meat. I don't really eat meat, so I want something that is like vegetarian and, and a little bit plain because I'm a fussy eater. But what I do like is fried rice. I love fried rice. So yeah, I saw one and it was just vegetables like beans, and I went oh. Perfect. Just beans, but the beans are just like... It's in fish sauce. It's in fish. So for dessert, I have not dessert. <coughs> Strange. It's called Shui Kue. Uh, it's like rice cake, I think, or radish cake. I don't, I don't really pay much attention. This is why I don't host a, true, a food travel show. And this stuff on top is like preserved radish, apparently. This is like really difficult mini chopsticks. It's part of the challenge. Oh, God, this looks, this looks kind of scary. Itself is alright. It's just plain rice cake. But this stuff on top, I think I'm kind of done with Asian food. <laughs> can, we go, <laughs> can we go to McDonald's? Oh, um, but yeah, again, this was three three Singapore dollars, so like two US dollars. So I'll go over it. There is something here called fried carrot cake, which sounds like a lovely English dessert. You know, like I like carrot cake. It's good. The carrot cake here is like, I think it's the same stuff as this. It's like radish, but deep fried with a whole bunch of like sauces and stuff on it. Do you want to try this? No. No. Um, 
Yeah, we've made more like fishy sauces and stuff. And I'll be honest, I, I don't have enough of a complex palate. I thought I did. I thought I'd be able to sit here and be like, mmm, wow. But in reality, I just want KFC. <laughs> It's quite funny, I was walking over here and because this is wet and it's wax paper, it was, they were all just sliding around everywhere. <laughs> and I look like a crazy person. That happens a lot here. You looking like a crazy Me person. Me looking like a crazy person. Because when you were gone, I was just talking to a camera, just sitting here, just eating, just talking into the void. But yeah, so we've tried, we've tried all our Chinesey, Singaporean foods. I've gone through and I've had duck soup. I've had these cake things. Ugh. I've had nasi lamek, I've had Hainanese chicken rice, I've had kaya toast. I've really gone for it. I've really gone for it. I've, I've given, it, the, given it my did, best shot. Did you mention the, what, what, the breakfast that you got? Yeah, kaya time? toast, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But even that was weird because you just get like raw eggs with it and you dip, you, oh, look. I got your own French toast. I like, I like, it was like coconut, vanilla, no, panda. Yeah, it was, so it's toast with uh, like sweet butter with panda in it, which is kind of like, tastes like vanilla. And a black coffee, which I can make peace with that. I can make peace with that. But then I don't want to dip it in raw eggs. It was a bit odd. But um, yeah. Indian food tonight. We're going to try a different part of Singaporean cuisine. And I feel a bit more secure in Indian food. I know I like that stuff. experience <laughs> the food was great great Indian food but well, I walked in there and I saw that it was uh, North Indian cuisine so my brain immediately went to well this this is a Hindu place you know so I, I walked in nice cold Carlsberg in my hand uh, <laughs> sat down and opened my Carlsberg to, to look to, to look up to a very disapproving face uh, and that's when I noted all, noticed all of the um, Islamic scripture on the wall. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like I'm going to Muslim hell. I look like a crazy person walking around with a camera on my own. Dana's in bed. We had a little, uh, a little bit of a food tour today. And tomorrow we're off to Bali, so I'm sure we'll see you there. Uh, maybe see you in the airport, but if not, Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.